working on a show like this where we are confronted with the devil every single day, yeah. but we're also yeah. confronted with the idea that maybe the devil isn't just this, you know, kind of overarching evil, yeah. um, you know, yeah. and it's making us question our kind of, because I really don't believe in saying like things like, you know, um, the devil made me do it or anything. Right. I, I, like, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Like, I, I, I never have kind of given the either. devil that much power over my life. I think words have power. And so when you say mm-hmm. things like the devil can, like, control things, the devil is always busy and all that kind of, I'm like, yeah, you're giving them too much fucking credit. Um, and I would exactly. rather err on the side of giving, you know, the higher power. God is who I believe in. Jesus, so, you mm-hmm. know, what have you. Yeah. Um, I would rather give the power over to them and then also, of course, to myself because it's the God in me, as Mary Mary used yeah. to say. You know, it's the God in me. Yes. So, so for well, you, yeah, when you're... I always... Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead, baby. I love what you're saying, though, and I just like get excited to interject. I, well, I was just <laughs> going to say, I love the fact that um, I feel like we create our own hell, that hell, you yes. know, hell isn't someplace that we go. Mm-hmm. Hell is mm-hmm. right here on Earth. You know, yep. and the, the choices that we make um, yep. create our create our hell. Um, yep. And the great thing about being on Lucifer is that I was already very invested and interested in, in, you know, always figuring out, like, what is my higher power and what is in my old belief and what I used to think God was and what do I think that is for me now, you know, and, like, firing my old God <laughs> that, that was mean <laughs> and wasn't, yeah. you know, that was, like, that mean, scary God, right, that we grew up yep. with. And I had to, you know, figure out what that meant to me. And and I have always thought, oh, yeah, like when I when we talk about how you interpret everything, right? So it's like when you say I'm exercising my demons, mm-hmm. for me, that used to freak me the fuck out. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And, <laughs> right. um, and then, but now I've come to after 20 years, whatever, whatever, is that I'm like, oh, no, exercising my demons is like getting out the negative thoughts and the negative shit that's in my head. Yeah, it's like woo, get it out and let mm-hmm. it go, and, and let it go. I think that, right, and that's that interpretation. It's like owning the fact that I have negative thought or feeling or whatever, and saying, "Yeah, this is what is it? Help me turn this into something, something else. What can I? What would I say to my best friend?" Yeah. Is usually what ends up happening about these yeah. thoughts or whatever these feels. Anyway, so being on a show like yeah. this has really kind of helped you come to that understanding. Would you say that? Yeah, I think so for sure. Because at, at the beginning, baby, honestly, I remember calling my therapist and being freaked out. I'm like, why did I say I would do the show? I don't want to do a show about the devil. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. And because um, I was like, the pilot, I'm cute and I'm funny in that. And it's like, and I right. get to have sex with the devil. And I'm like, but. Ooh. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and she said, she said, this is an opportunity, you know, for you. You're in the middle mm-hmm. of a miracle right now. Yeah. And this is, you get to explore this and there's a reason you're doing this. And I, and I, you know, the thing that I've loved about the show from day one is that you take, we all feel at certain times like we're, ir, you know, we're the most irredeemable person ever or that yeah. we can't ever come back from a mistake. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think what's great about Lucifer is that it's, you're taking, you know, even though it's a story and it's fiction, whatever, you're taking the most irredeemable person, right? And saying even that person's lovable and it's able to yeah. Uh, make amends and turn their life around.